Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila and I am here to do a, a mini love forecast for the Capricorn for the week beginning May 11th and ending May the 18th, 2016. Alright, so this will be a basic, um, my basic five card spread, um, what's going on currently, um, what we can see from the past as well as the future. Um, so the future card is going to include an advice card for you in the future. So this will just add to it. It's it's a past, present, and future spread. But it includes two extra cards that are really helpful. So um, again, this reading is not going to resonate with all Capricorns. Uh, whether or not it does or it doesn't, I highly recommend an in-depth and personal uh, reading because you get so much more out of it. And you do get your reading with me personally. Um, I try to do my readings on the same day. And I do have same day readings available. So just to let you know that. All right, so I am done shuffling. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, currently I'm seeing a lot of anxiety. And that's not good. There's fear. There's anxiety. You're not getting sleep. It's keeping you up at night. And to be honest with you, um, I really honestly believe that there is some sort of negative energy. This is a spirit. Whenever I see the nine of swords, I see a spirit. So a lot of people, you know, don't really understand when I say that, but there are a lot of people out there that do use occult magic <clears throat> and they will use it on you. Um, so I do definitely see that currently, you know, it's a lot of, um, you know, a lot of misery right now, a lot of uncertainty. You're not sure about what's going on, you know. Um, now, in the past, you did get the chariot, okay? Now, the chariot is typically um, indicative of... The chariot is usually indicative of having to make some sort of, you know, um, better judgment, you know, um, making good use of your energy, determination, okay? So, you don't, I mean, the chariot indicates you using a lot of energy in the past, but you were using it in the wrong direction. And I see that either you were tempted to go too far, too fast, with, or, you know, some, or you were pressuring someone. And, you know, you never want to push someone. I mean, I've seen people do it. You can't pressure someone and push them because it shows that you are insecure. You know, you're constantly worrying about this person and that person and worrying about the, the future of the relationship. You're worrying too much. And this is what you're manifesting. Um, in the past, you did get the high priestess. So again, there's someone using some sort of black magic occult. High priestess is crossing the chariot in the past. The chariot is about a dominating or subjugating relationship. You know, someone not treating you well at all. And um, <clears throat> it could be you. It could be you not treating your partner well. A lot of people want to say how they're being treated or mistreated. But what about what you're putting out there? What about the energy that you're using? Okay, you have to take responsibility for that energy. The high priestess is a... In my opinion, I mean, it's a couple of possibilities with the high priestess. But all in all, I do want to say that with this high priestess, I do get the sense of some sort of occult magic. 
Okay, that's what I'm getting from the high priestess at this point. Now for your future, you've got the eight of swords. This is the universe pushing you over the ledge because you 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 can't be scared. You gotta calm down, you gotta conquer that fear. Do I see you as overcoming that fear? I see you as avoiding it because you got the Ace of Cups. So you're going to start over with someone else and probably run into the same problem. Again, this is Eight of Swords. It's about fear moving you into the future, fear holding you back. You, you fear moving into the future and you fear getting hurt. So what you do is you, you know, um, have this negativity. You, um, you know, instead of you talking to people the way they want, the way you should, you know, that fear causes your thoughts, your speech, your behavior, and negativity to come out. You need help dealing with your fears and you need to ask for it, okay, because it's going to affect outcomes in your life. I do see a lot of you Capricorns meeting someone new. You got the Ace of Cups, but again... Uh, you know, I don't really see anything dealing with this. I do see the Ace of Cups of possibly being some sort of new beginning emotionally. It is a very positive omen. But I just see you kind of move into another relationship and starting over again. You're constantly starting over. The Ace of Cups is an excellent omen to love. I mean, you can meet somebody. I mean, everybody is going to get love in their life. It's what you do with it that counts. So, yeah, you're definitely going to have someone. Now, if you are in an existing relationship where you're going through these changes, okay, because these, you know, all of these cards could indicate going through some changes in your relationship. It's going to take a turn for the better. So there is good news in this reading. If you are looking for someone, this is encouraging. But, you know, please deal with the other issues that you have because they're still there, okay? I do recommend a personalized and in-depth reading for the Capricorn this week. Um, maybe even some other services. So definitely check out my web, check out the website in the video description box. Um, as well as subscribe and thumbs up this video. Um, thank you so much for watching and have a great week. Bye.